Alrighty everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the best Titan build in the game. No joke, this build is actually the greatest thing I've ever used on Titan. And it's all made possible thanks to our new exotic class item. So, let's see how this build works. Starting out with our abilities. First up, we have our super, Thunder Crash. So, we all know Thunder Crash, it's a great one-off super that can deal a massive chunk of damage, but we're using it here for a fragment that changes depending upon our super. You have your choice of Barricade or Thruster, your choice of Jump, and our melee, Frenzied Blade. I know we use it all the time, but it's the best. With this, we get three melee charges, and the best part about it is attacking targets will sever them, which will reduce the damage they can output. And for our grenade, we're going to be using Glacier Grenade. Now this creates a wall of stasis that can be used defensively to block off a sight line or offensively to freeze and shatter targets. Shatter will also stun unstoppable champions. Next up are our aspects, starting out with Knockout. Critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attacks with arc energy and increases your melee range and damage for a short time. Defeating targets with melee attacks makes you amplified and restores a portion of your health. Defeating more powerful combatants increases the amount of health restored. So this aspect will give us health on melee kills and increase our melee damage. Melee attacks will also make us amplified, where amplified will increase our movement speed. Next up, we have Consecration. While sliding, activate your charged melee ability to launch a wave of solar energy forward, damaging and scorching targets in front of you as you leap into the air. While airborne, activate your charged melee again to slam to the ground and create a second, larger wave of damaging solar energy. If the wave hits a scorched target, they ignite. So this will give our melee some even bigger damage. Scorch is a great damage over time effect that can be applied to targets, and ignitions are larger solar explosions that will stun unstoppable champions. These consecration slams will also trigger knockout, giving them increased damage and health on kills. Now let's move over to our fragments, starting out with Facet of Ruin. This increases the size and damage of the burst when you shatter a stasis crystal or frozen target, and increases the area of effect of solar ignitions. So this fragment will help with our stasis crystal increasing the damage and size of the burst when we shatter it. Ignitions from our consecration slam will also have a larger effective radius, and it gives a plus 10 to our mobility stat. Next up, we have Facet of Protection. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage. While transcendent, the effect is increased. So, as always, damage resistance is a great thing for us that can be applied in gameplay, and it's even better that the effect is increased while we are transcendent, and it also gives us a plus 10 to our strength stat. Next up, Facet of Dawn. Powered melee hits against targets make you radiant. Powered melee final blows make you and nearby allies radiant. Radiant is a buff that will apply to our weapons, letting them deal bonus damage and letting them stun barrier champions. However, it does take away minus 10 from our strength stat. Next up, Facet of Blessing. Melee final blows start health regeneration. While transcendent, melee final blows start health regeneration for you and nearby allies. So this fragment will give us more healing capabilities for our melee final blows. And rounding it out, we have Facet of Defiance. Finishers create a detonation that either jolts, scorches, slows, severs, or makes targets volatile based on the damage type of your equipped super. So here we have a fragment that will make our finishers a lot more potent especially since we have Thunder Crash equipped, letting our finishers jolt targets. It also gives us a plus 10 to our recovery stat. Now for our exotics, starting out with Buried Bloodline. Our intrinsic, Hungering Quarrel, reads Double Fires Tracking Bolts. Landing Bolts leeches health from the target. Our trait, Violent Reanimation, states Multiple final blows with this weapon grant Devour to the wielder. And our Catalyst reads While Devour is active, this weapon weakens on hit. So yeah, look who's got the catalyst now. Devour is a buff that will grant grenade energy and health on kills. The buff is also refreshed on target final blows. And the catalyst letting this weapon apply weaken will come into play later with our seasonal mods. But for now, let's go to our next exotic, Stoicism. Yes, a lot of chess and dual destiny was done to get this role. So starting out, we have Spirit of Severance. Powered melee or finisher final blows unleash a damaging explosion. And next, we have Spirit of Contact. Damaging a target with a powered melee causes all nearby targets to suffer lightning strikes and become jolted. So these spirits come from our exotics, Severance Enclosure, and Point Contact Cannon Brace. And it really dials this build up to 11. Because of our fragments and exotics, 
Now we have finishers that create a large explosion that jolts targets, and we have a consecration slam that summon jolting lightning strikes and will create massive explosions on target final blows. Yeah, that sounds awesome. But we're gonna want a high uptime on our melees, which is where our primary Smite of Moraine comes into play. Really, any weapon with Pugilist will work here, but I like this one. The role I'd recommend is Pugilist and Swashbuckler for melee energy on kills and a stacking damage bonus. And for our seasonal mods, we're going to want Galvanic Armor for increased damage reduction while amplified, Radiant Orbs to make us radiant when picking up Orbs of Power, and Void Hegemony. This allows us to gain an overshield upon defeating weakened targets, which weaken will be applied thanks to our Buried Bloodline, which applies weaken while we have Devour active. I'd also recommend Shield Crush, giving us increased grenade recharge rate and damage while amplified or radiant, and giving an increased recharge rate and damage to our melee while we have a Void Overshield. So we'll constantly have Amplified and Radiant, and all we need to do to get an Overshield is defeat a target from Buried Bloodline. As for our armor mods, these are the ones I'm running, with a few that I'd recommend being Healthy Finisher to let our finishers heal us, while consuming one stack of armor charge and proximity ward to gain a powerful overshield while performing your finisher. So for our gameplay loop, essentially what we have to do is use our consecration slams to jolt, scorch, and ignite targets on hit. And final blows will make us amplified, restore health, give us radiant, start health regeneration, and create a giant jolting explosion. Ignitions stun unstoppable champions, radiant will let us stun barrier champions, and jolt will stun overload champions. But there's more. Getting kills with buried bloodline will grant us devour, and getting further kills will not only heal us to max health, but also let our buried bloodline apply weaken to targets, which defeating those targets will give us a void overshield that will make our melee recharge faster and deal increased damage. The Amplified will also give us extra damage resistance, along with being surrounded by combats. And whenever you run out of melee charges, just use your Pugilist primary to give back some more melee energy, and pop transcendence whenever you get it to further spam this absolutely broken build. And there it is, the best titan build in the game. But before we get to our showcase, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and to let me know your favorite builds down in the comments below. With all that out of the way, let's get right to the showcase. Alrighty, let's see what this build can do. Off. Two great stars. Oh my. Alright. Oh, Cursed Thralls? Come on. No one's build has ever worked against Cursed Thralls. Until now. Boom! Oh shoot. Quick super. Boom! Yes! It's beautiful! Let's get some prismatic, huh? Kill you guys. Kill you guys. Of course it's an upgrade phase while I'm transcendent. Let's get it. Boom! Slam. Hold this. That's crazy. Hold this. I love this build. Hold this. Jolt, Scorch, Ignite, Amplified, Radiant, Weaken. Look at all these keywords. Frozen. Don't worry, Hunter, I got this. Let me show you how it's done. That was some fun stuff. Boom! And that's how to be a Titan in 2024. What's up, Shaq? Fantastic work! What's going on over here? Nothing good. Boom! And boom! Hold this. Boom! Oh my gosh! They didn't stand a chance. Where are a majority of the enemies at? Are they over here? Uh, I guess they were, but now they're just somebody that I used to know. What? Look at this. And people say prismatic titans are struggling. I like it, cut G. All right, let's have some fun. Some more fun, that is. Yeah. This build is actually unstoppable. That's got to be like the fastest onslaught I've ever done in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the greatest Titan build in the entire game. There it is. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the best Titan build in the whole game. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.